hello everyone welcome back to my channel so i made a very beautiful soap today so this is actually a whipped soap this is not a, a black soap this is a paste whipped soap so i made the soap with some surfactant of which i'll be telling you more about it in the video when i start illustrating how i formulated the soap so this is a cream bath soap it has this baby pinkish color but the camera is actually not doing justice to the color you the camera is actually not showing how the real color of the soap is it is actually more beautiful uh than what you're seeing in the camera those cream bath will not dry out your skin i added umectant surfactant and i use surfactants that will not irritate or dry out your skin kindly watch the video to the end so if you're just coming across me for the first time hello this is hbm organic beauty on this channel i teach you how to make skincare and herbal products I do product review. I coach or train you on how to make effective, stable skincare product for personal use or for business purpose. I also sell my skincare product on my website at www.hbmorganicbeauty.com. And if you want to reach out to me, kindly click the description box under this video you're watching now and click on my link tree so that you're able to reach out to me and follow me on other platforms. Let me show you how I made this cream bath soap. First of all, I'll be adding in my um surfactant my sci which is my surfactant um <coughs> please try and put on a nose mask this actually chokes next i'm adding in my my steric acid i'm still contemplating whether to release this um recipe or not i'm adding in my steric acid steric acid is actually what makes your your whip so very creamy you know um and it actually helps to um emulsify this you guys should just bear with me i'm actually no i'm having low light and you know I, I just had to hold the camera because um, my environment currently, my factory everywhere is just, you know, um, junk top, I'm producing, so everywhere is just, there's not enough space anymore, so I just had to manage the little space I have, you know, to just hold this camera with my uh, small tripod, and I'm filming at the same time, so you guys bear with your girl. So next I'm adding in um, my umectant. You can use any umectant of your choice. You can add vegetable glycerin. You can add propylene glycol. You can add, add propendial. You know, any umectant of your choice you can add in here. So I am adding um, propendial here. I'm, I'm adding another surfactant. So this is... Um, um, this is cocoa butane, cocoa betaine. Um, it is actually called cocoa amidroprofil betaine. But the uh, short, or let, let's uh, let's just let me say the shortened name of it that everybody calls it is cocoa betaine. So I'm adding my cocoa betaine. I'm going to add in my cocoa betaine. I'll be dropping all the measurements on the screen. So I'm adding in uh, my distilled water. You can see all our mixture, everything is in here. So please mind the way you stay so that you don't create bubbles, okay? So I'm going to place this on my double boil. So this is actually my double boiling method. You can see I'm trying to dissolve this. So it is gradually melting. This is gradually melting, okay? So I'm going to show you guys after it is done melting. So here is our dissolved um, surfactant. This is it. It has dissolved. You cannot see any of the white uh, grainy substance again. So I'm going to leave this to cool down. Okay. 
I'm going to use my mica. Mica is actually a cosmetic colorant, okay? Um, I just have to put it in this container. So it's a colorant you use to actually beautify your cosmetic products. It just make it appealing or pleasing to the eye, you know, attractive. So I'm going to add my mica to my, um, my soap. I'm actually whipping. I've whipped some extent. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to add a little. You just had, you basically had little by little till you get um, the color you want. So that is it for my car. Sorry, it is raining. So this is uh, my soap. The camera is actually not doing justice to the color of the soap. This soap looks so lovely. Like it looks lovelier than what you're seeing here from the camera. I am adding in my preservative, then I'll just, you know, uh, mix it. So this cream bath soap we actually moisturize your skin because uh, from the formulation I did, I did not have any lightening uh, active. I did not really had any strong active into the formulation. So it's just like a base, okay? So you can actually pour in your exfoliant, like your sugar, your salt, your walnut shell into those base and make your scrub. And at the same time, you can add in, um, let me say, 20% of your actives like you want to add extracts fruit extracts herbal extract you want to add lightning extracts lightning active you can do that so if you want to make this a brightening cream bath or you want to make it a whitening cream bath or you want to make it an exfoliating cream bath because yes you can also add um, a little bit of lactic acid or any of your aha or you want to make this a lightning uh, cream bath just take 80 percent of the base of this of this cream bath because this is actually like a base so you can use this on its own and it will cleanse your skin and it will moisturize your skin so except you had in actives ingredients more ingredients into this before you're able to get more benefits according to what you want to achieve or according to your desires so if you want to add in other active you can still add in like 20 percent of actives yeah it, it will still con uh, it will still contain 20 percent or 15 percent you can scoop 80 percent of this or you scoop 85 percent of this as your base then you had in your actives like your brightening powders according to their percentage you had in your extract and whip it a little bit because it has been whipped already just like that and yes you already have your cream bath you have your cream bath and just like that so thank you so much um for watching the video and see you in my next video please do not forget to turn on your notification bell below so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video bye